All right, so this is the paper, three specimen paper 2018 that we are about to do. This is the only paper that you can use as a reference as something to look ahead as to how this paper tree exam is going to come. So let's take a look at it. Calculate the value of x is the first part they are asking us. Uh, let's read the question. The diagram below, not drawn to scale, represents the plan of a floor, the broken line, RS divides the floor into two rectangles, E and B. Alright, so if you look at this, you'd realize that RS, the question kind of phrased badly. I don't know if there's rushing down this question, but RS should have been here if they want should have been where I'm, I'm putting these arrows if they want to say that RS divides the floor into two rectangles and it's a broken line they're probably speaking about this broken line here that's where RS anyhow we can still do the question but that's just a poor phrase in there or maybe an error whatever calculate the value of X so to calculate the value of X you can see X is just going to be this it's part of the length to get the next part of the length we need to add on 3.4 the entire length, we can use the top reference to get the entire length, which is 12.3. So it's just a simple subtraction, right? 12.3, take away 3.4. 12.3, take away 3.4. 8.9 meters. So we have the value of x. And then there's a hence. So, so every time the word hence is used, it means use the information from before. Use the information from before. So hence determine the length of rs. Uh, let's find where RS is. Alright, so this is RS. So yes, this really should be RS. So I don't know why they say RS, broken lines, whatever. Anyhow, to find the length of RS, RS, we can compare RS with this length here because, you know, rectangles have two equal sides. So to get RS, we simply need to add this value that we got for X with this value for 2 and that will give us the length RX. So some simple maths here. So it's not looking bad so far. How are it looking? How do you find this people looking so far? So RS is 8.9 plus 2.0, that's 10.9 meters. Uh, that's 10.9 meters. Let me just train meters here. Meters. Calculate the area of the entire floor. So part B is to calculate the area of the entire floor. And we are getting a good nice format. So that's, I think that's exciting stuff there because that's like super easy. In paper 2, I can tell you that question. I'll go for 3 marks maximum. So four marks to calculate the area of the entire floor, and we have just two shapes to calculate because you can see that the area of the entire floor is going to be A plus B. That's going to be length by breadth by length by breadth, right? Yes, the area of A plus the area of B, and the area of A is this, this length, 12.3 by 6.8, and the area of B is this length, RS by 3.1. All right, so let's just do that. All that's left is to do that. Total area is area of A plus area of B. Area of A is 12.3 by 6.8. Yep, 83.64 meters squared. Area of B. I already realized that this 10.9 here came from before because that's RS. So area of B is 10.9 times 3.1. We get the answer. So total area, sum of them, and you get the answer. And that's four marks. And remember, every mark in paper tree is 1% of your final mark. Finally, let's move on to the last part of the first question. Section A of the floor is to be covered with flooring boards measuring 1 meter by 30 centimeters. Section A of the floor is to be covered with flooring boards measuring 1 meter by 30 centimeters. What is the minimum number of flooring boards that would be needed to completely cover section A? Alright, so this is a simple one small area. So there's a small flooring board that needs to go in. So we just need to find the area of one small flooring board and divide by the area of the whole floor. Actually, it's not the whole floor. It's just section A of the floor. So pay attention, read your questions properly. So that's simple. Calculate the area of the one flooring board. Area of one flooring board will be one meter by 30 centimeters. One flooring board. That's something kind of cumbersome to say by flooring board. Anyhow, and then we divide to find the number of boards this was the area of a here so area of a divided by the area of one board so now we have the number of boards needed but there's a decimal place so they asked what was the minimum number right of flooring boards needed so since there's a point eight you would actually have to go ahead and buy that whole board so the minimum number of flooring boards that you can use is 279 you'll have to round up because you'll need to buy the whole board. It's, it's like the same thing with tiles. You can't buy half a tile. So you'll have to buy like the whole tile. So 279 boards is the answer. Another sweet format for that. So this question was easy. 
the next question in this paper, however, was linear programming in the specimen paper, which is challenging for a lot of people. So if we were to follow this as a guide, it's saying that the first question might be a little easy, but the last question might be a little tougher. So just two questions. And for time's sake, I'll upload the next question in the next video.